And when we spend time bringing our honest emotions to Mm -hmm. God, we get to see a different side of his heart for us. We get to see a different part of his character. When we can come to him and say, I'm sad and I'm disappointed and God, I don't see you in this. And it kind of looks like things are falling apart and I don't know what, I don't know what you're doing here. And David says over and over in the Psalms, and yet Oh, my soul, praise him. And yet I put my hope in him. And as we come to the Lord and we speak to him, honestly, we get to experience him as our loving, Mm -hmm. kind, compassionate father. We get to see and know that there is no pain or suffering on this earth that Jesus didn't intimately know. He knew the betrayal of his closest people. He knew what it was to be slandered and, um, spoken about, just defamed. He knew what it was to have his friends and family walk away from him. Any suffering that we experience has already been experienced by Jesus. And as we bring our emotions to him, we get to experience his character and his compassion. And that gives us something to praise him for. We, we can't, we can't praise him that our kid is in prison. We can't praise him that our parents are suffering. We can't praise him for the loss of our loved one, but we can praise him for who he is and his unchanging character in the midst of that sorrow.